All right, it's the end of May. I'm up here in northern Minnesota at Burnt Side Lake. Yesterday was like 80 degrees and 20 mile an hour winds. Well, today, still windy, but now it's like 44 degrees. So this is gonna be a cold one out there. Got yeah, Reggie back there. He's going with me today. My name is Randy. You're watching Go Midwest Fishing. All right, here is the overflow parking for Burnt Side Lake. And right now it looks like it's under construction. To get to the actual landing, now I gotta walk down the road here. Here's the road to the landing, and they have a sign right here that says limited parking and turnaround space. And they are correct. I got an 18 foot boat, and could barely get it turned around. Depends how many cars are down here. Now, it looks to be about five public boat landings here. This is the one on the very south end, it's county owned. Uh, two of them in the middle of the lake there are you have to pay a fee to go on. I have not checked those out yet I'm sure they're a little nicer than this Especially if you got to pay to get on them and there's lots of posted signs So you don't want to wander off the road too far All right, here's the bottom of the landing. You see you got a few spots. There's no spots for trailer parking though So just regular cars this spot here is reserved for a trailer turnaround, but it's not <laughs> very wide And he's got a gravel landing. There's no dock. <laughs> he's all outfitted up. All right, Burnside Lake, it's a big lake. It's over 7,100 acres and it is deep. I mean, most of the lake is gonna be around 60 feet deep with holes, you know, 130 feet deep, stuff like that. So they call it like a two-story lake. It's got good oxygenated water down deep where it's cold, where you can have lake trout and stuff like that. And then you got shallower bays that are warmer that hold northern and walleye and smallmouth, those kind of fish. So we're gonna stick to what we know. We're gonna find these uh, bays where it's, you know, hopefully 10 feet deep or so and just work the shoreline, see if we can't pull up some big northern pipes. There's supposed to be some big ones in here and maybe some small mouth. It is super windy today too, so we're trying to get out of the wind and it's not too bad back in this little cove right here. But really cool, a lot of trees and rocks on the shoreline. Real pretty scenery out here. It's super clear water. All right, we're in one of the shallower areas right here. Take a look at the bottom, see what it looks like. We're at seven feet deep right now. Should be nice clear water. Expecting some rocks and stuff down there. There we go. It's a big rock. Wanna hit that one. Ooh, there's a big big log coming up. A lot of structure under there, a lot of big boulders. You gotta be careful. Um, it is deep, but when you do get the shallows, you're gonna hit some big boulders and stuff. You have very careful, they come out of nowhere. Oh, it's a fish! Yeah? <laughs> we got one! Right off the shallow part there, that rocky point. It's a pretty decent one too. And yeah, net him? Look at it. Yeah, get in it, get in it. He's a big one. Holy crap, it's a huge smallmouth. Oh, he's off. Oh. Holy crap, that was huge. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> that was the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught. <laughs> Almost ever caught it. <laughs> I seen it. I thought it was a northern. I did too. Oh, I seen the body. It looked long. Oh, 
caught him on uh, this big old spinner bait. Kind of looks like a crayfish a little bit. That thing had to go on a good 20 inches. Why? Why? <laughs> right there, there's one other boat out here. Right where I caught the smallmouth, and he's out there yelling. He must be catching something too. That duck's kind of got like a red head on it or something. All right, all you duck people. What kind of duck is this? It's a red-headed something. <laughs> it's kind of cool looking duck though. Well, we're just trying to keep working this real shallow areas, throwing some spinner baits out. And uh, we'll do this, then we'll kind of cruise up the lake a little, try another spot. Just keep hitting all these shallower areas. It seems to be where the fish are right now. Oh, what? Oh, holy crap. Followed. That's huge. He followed that up. <laughs> Dude, that was like a, that was a big 37, one. 8 inch <laughs> northern. Oh, man, that thing. That thing was... Yeah. Big old northern. Dang it. Now we have two huge fish we lost. <laughs> but that was in, uh, we're in 12 feet of water. He came right off that little rocky yeah. bank there. He followed it up. Yeah, followed him right up to the boat and then, whoosh. oh, that looked like the perfect spot. It's <laughs> right in. See something right there. Rocks. Little cabbage starting to grow. Oh, 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 oh my god, it's a huge one! Holy crap, there he goes. <laughs> Another huge one that's like size of yours. <laughs> oh, 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 came right up the boat. We're only in three feet of water here, right back in this little bay. And uh, so far, every fish we've seen was freaking huge. <laughs> now he's got to catch one. Like big fish do, they'll, they'll follow up and then they'll take off, kind of like muskies do. Gotta convince them to bite. Maybe I should use my bigger pole. So around all these islands, those buoys probably, you know, where they're some kind of structure and shallower water. This looks just like that other spot, kind of a drop off into a deep little hole. Could be one. Yeah, Ooh, I had one. Ooh, really? Look like a smallmouth. Probably, I was gonna say, it looks just like a good spot for smallmouth right here. He's nipping away at the back of it. Should I put that one on? Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at this big ass rock. <laughs> Look at this rock. Oh, jeez. The size of these rocks are ridiculous. I mean, we were like in. I think we'd be close to one since we were in 20 feet of water or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> we were. Mm -hmm. oh, I might have to go check out land. I don't know if I get in there. Some logs. That's a jump. Jump on the log? And then <laughs> I don't know see. how safe that is. All right, we just took a little ride up onto this north finger. We're a good halfway up it or so, and it is, it's really deep, and there's not much for bays or shallow areas. So we found one little spot here, throw a few casts in, just say we did it, and see if we catch anything. Then we'll probably head back down and go off to the eastern end of the lake. Uh, here's what it looks like, got a little finger here. And it's, uh, well, it's 10 feet deep right now, so that's all right, but. Here's kind of the wide part of the lake right on the north end here. Not much happening down here. If you're enjoying all these lake reviews, you can go to goldmidwestfishing.com and get all the information there, all the stuff I couldn't show you in the video, plus the list of all the lakes that we've been on so far. We just zoomed all the way to the east end a burnt side lake and it was a cold ride but this end looks to be a little bit shallower 
and uh, I'm just gonna do a little loop around this end, and then we'll probably head her back. Oh, there's one! He's just sitting there. It's a nice one too. See him right there? Nope. He says, screw you guys. Oh, it's a nice one too. Here, I wonder if I can get him on camera. Alright. Come on, buddy. Come look at it. Is he over there still? He's coming. He's looking. Can you still see him? He's still sitting there, yeah. <laughs> there he is. I got him on camera. A bit. He's going the other way, I gotta go this way. He's behind us. Yep, they seem to be just curious today. They come up and look at you and they're not interested in biting this. They're just bored, wanna see what's going on. Well, if you wanna catch some big fish, Burntside Lake is a great place to do it. We saw nothing but huge fish today. So uh, four or so big northern pike, had a huge smallmouth on, already saw another one. It is still kind of early in the year and I said a cold front came through and we dropped 30, 40 degrees overnight. So the fish weren't really in the mood to bite. They were pretty curious so they did follow us up and you know look at our baits at least so we got a good look at them. So speaking of which this lake is super clear and it's really deep but if you get some uh, Polaris glasses on it's kind of fun to watch. You can see the fish come up and you can also watch for those huge boulders that just pop out of nowhere. <laughs> we almost hit so many of them. Reggie's pretty quick on the motor though when he got it pulled up. So it didn't ruin anything today. We do gotta go all the way back. We're in the far east end. The landing is on the far south west land end of the lake. So on the drive back, we'll just give you a quick tour of the lake. So everyone, thanks so much for watching. <laughs>